The more I see them constantly, like, Russia this, Russia that. Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings? Our ratings are incredible right now. But honestly, you'd, you'd think the whole Russia shit is just, like, bullshit. Could be bullshit. I mean, we, it's mostly bullshit right now. Like, we don't have any big, giant proof. I just feel like they don't really have it, but they they want to keep digging. Mm -hmm. And so I think the president is probably right to say, like, look, you are witch hunting me. Like, you have no smoking gun. You have no real proof. And the CEO of CNN said in our internal meeting, he said, good job, everybody, covering the climate accords. But we're done with it. Let's get back to Russia. <laughs> The more I've seen it, constantly like Russia this, Russia that. This is ratings. But honestly, you'd, you'd think the whole Russia shit is just like bullshit. It's mostly bullshit right now. Like we don't have any big giant proof. I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news because of the attack of fake news and, and uh, attacking our network. I, I just want to ask you, sir. I'm changing it from fake news, though. D doesn't that under very fake news? I know, but aren't you? Even if Russia was trying to swing an election, I mean, we try to swing their elections. We're in our CIA and doing shit all the time. Fake news. We start our American Pravda investigations inside America's media with part one, CNN. Our goal is to expose the real motivations behind the decision-making process at our dominant media corporations. Fake news. One story has monopolized President Trump's time in office like no other, especially on CNN. Russia. In fact, since the inauguration, CNN has mentioned Russia on their air nearly 16,000 times. So we sent our undercover reporters inside CNN to understand why, and to determine if CNN even believes that the story is even real. You're not going to believe what you're about to hear, or maybe you will. I'd like to introduce you to CNN supervising producer John Bonifield in Atlanta. So you believe like the Russia thing's a little crazy, right? Even if Russia was trying to swing an election, I we try to swing their elections. We're in our CIA and doing shit all the time. Like we're out there trying to manipulate governments. Like you win because you know the you you, you know the game and you play it right. She didn't play it right. The more I've seen it, constantly like Russia this, Russia that. Because it's ratings. Because it's ratings? Our ratings are incredible right now. In the month of May, CNN's ratings were significantly higher than they were the year before. The Russia story and Trump have made CNN millions. Because of. Uh... Yeah, I. So, my boss, I shouldn't say this, my boss, a couple days yesterday, we were having a discussion about this dental shoot, and he goes, He's like, I just want you to know what we're up against here. And he goes, just to give you some context, President Trump pulled out of the climate accords, and for a day and a half we covered the climate accords, and the CEO of CNN said in our internal meeting, he said, good job everybody covering the climate accords, but we're done with it, let's get back to Russia. <laughs> the, the CEO? Yeah. Oh my God. So... So even the climate accords, he was like, okay, a day or so, but we're, we're moving back to Russia. Bonifield says CNN's CEO Jeff Zucker demanded that his news channel get back to the ratings winner that Russia is for CNN. Was that an editorial call or a business call? So it's, I mean, I understand it's all ratings, right? Oh, it's a business. So it's, it's a business. People are like, the media has like an ethical... But... <laughs> All the nice, cutesy little ethics that used to get talked about in journalism school, you're just like, that's adorable. <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> yeah, this is a business. Especially cable news. You know, cable news isn't the New York Times, and it's not, it's not even like NBC News. It's, it's, I mean, NBC News still gets 20 million viewers a night. Cable news is getting a million, so... Like they gotta, they gotta do what they gotta do to make their money, I think. And so I love the, I love the news business, but I, I find it so I'm fascinating. I'm very cynical about it. 
At the same time, so are most of my comments. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I'm not alone. Bonafield has worked for CNN as a journalist and producer for nearly 15 years. He not only gave us a tour of CNN's main newsroom, he gave us a window into the editorial bias and anti-Trump agenda of the organization. I think that there are a lot of like liberal CNN viewers who want to see Trump really get scrutinized, and I think if we would have behaved that way with President Obama and scrutinized everything that he was doing with as much scrutiny as we applied to Donald Trump, I think our viewers would have been turned off. I think they would have thought like we were attacking him. But um, I think our viewers right now, and I'm not saying all of our viewers are like super liberals. Right. I think there's just a lot of them. And so, so, so Trump's good for business, you're saying? Trump is good for business right now. But honestly, you'd, you'd think the whole Russia shit is just like bullshit. Could be bullshit. I mean, we, it's mostly bullshit right now. Like, we don't have any big giant proof. But then they say, well, there's still an investigation going on. And you're like, yeah. I don't know. If you were finding something, you would, we'd know about it. The way these leaks happen, they'd leak it. It'd yeah. leak. If there was something really good, it would leak. Yeah. It would have leaked before. Uh... Voting, I would say. Right. If, if, that's, if, that's if anything was good out there, it would have came out already. Yeah, the leaks keep leaking, and there's so many great leaks, and it's amazing, and I just refuse to believe that if they had something really good like that, that that wouldn't leak, because we've been getting all these other leaks, so I just feel like they don't really have it, but they they want to keep digging. Mm -hmm. And so I think the president is probably right to say, like, look, you are witch hunting me. Like, you have no smoking gun. Have no real proof. No real proof, he says, and that speaks volumes about today's mainstream media. Bonafield says CNN loves the Russia story not because it's true, but because people want it to be true. They're feeding their audience a false narrative in order to get ratings. Their enthusiasm to report false news is getting the better of them. On Saturday, CNN imposed strict internal restrictions on all future Russia stories after they had to delete and retract a story that was poorly sourced. And yesterday, three CNN staffers resigned, victims of fake news. So where does that leave us? The American people are fed up with fake news, and the mainstream media, they cannot trust. It's corporate greed, market pressures, managers without integrity, newsroom bosses without courage, journalists who don't even leave their desks. The very purpose of journalism is to expose the world for what it is not to create false political narratives in order to make money. The American people are frustrated because they have nowhere left to go to get actual information. This is just part one of the CNN series. We have so much more that we will bring you on video as our American Pravda investigations continue. Every dishonest television network, newspaper, and social media company is now on notice. You're being watched. We're coming after you. And while the whole broken, rotten media machine may not come tumbling down, maybe they'll wake up.